Hi guys, welcome to Toy Chat. This is Sang. And Max. Today we are reviewing the Disney Dorables. These are brand new collectibles from Moose, who also does the Shopkin brand. Um, and also Pick Me Pops. Yeah, they're super cute, very stylized, like very chibi in design minifigures, and they have glittery eyes. They have, you know, it's kind of supposed to give the impression of like glass eyes. Um, they're super cute, very stylized. So what we have today are we have a big multi-peak pack, um, which it's very interesting how it's structured. Apparently you actually don't know how many figures are inside. You can get as few as five or as many as seven. I wonder if it's like totally random or it's one of those like five, if you get five then they're more rare and if you get seven it's more like commons. Possibly, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's like, it's like structured like that or like yeah. it's just totally random. I'm not but sure. But we'll find out, I guess. We'll find out. And then we also have four of the standard blind boxes. Um, the multi pack, the multi peak pack is priced at um, 10 bucks and I found it at Walmart, but these are very common at Target as well. Um, and the um, individual blind boxes are priced at. I believe um, $3.99, something in that ballpark. I feel like the prices were not the same at Target and Walmart, but you know, blind box prices per usual. So we'll go ahead and get started with the multi-peak. So this is the packaging. As you can see, there are 78 to collect in total. And I love the art. The art is very chibi, yeah, super cute. And you can see, you know, a All lot the characters. of possibilities. Actually, that's only a couple. Is that this isn't the full series, okay. no. Not the full blind box series, there's more. Um, I wonder if these are the only ones that it's possible to get in the multi-peak. I guess we'll find out. Um, and of course, because it's Moose, there are limited edition figures, which are stupid rare. So, let's see what we got. Uh, it's like a flap. Oh, open me and peek inside. Okay, let's see, pull a little flap. It's like a real door. It's like a big old door. I wonder if, do you see all of them at once? No, okay. So there's little doors inside. Oh, it's so... Okay, like, so there's five like, doors, okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. Okay, everything, okay. So, here's the first one. Ooh, it's um, it's what's his face? Um, Flynn, 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 Flynn Rider. And yeah, as you can see, so chibi, glittery eyes, adorable. So he's pull number one. How we get Rapunzel? Rapunzel comes in um, a playset. Yeah, and she may be exclusive to the playset, because Alice is as well. Dormouse. Oh, so cute. This is Dormouse. Oh, he's super cute. I think I already have him. <laughs> he's one of the ones I got and one of the ones I opened, I think. Yeah. Dormouse from Alice in Wonderland. Very, very cute. Oop. Oh, no, I'm popped right open. This, kind of, this reminds me a lot of Monsters, Inc. Yeah. It's very Monsters, Inc. And get in the series. This looks like. Wait, who's this? Oh, it's Geppetto. Okay, yeah. Oh. This is Geppetto. Oh, he's so cute. I love his little blue eyes and white hair. He has a cane. Anna. Next up, we got Anna in, in her, her coronation outfit. Yeah. Coronation oh. Okay, this is the last one. Hmm. So wait, how many? So four? Oh, so I got five. Oh, yay! It's Eeyore! So yeah! Oh, it's flocked Eeyore. He's so cute. 
So the rumor I heard is that um, the Multi Peak is the only way to get the Winnie the Pooh uh, Winnie the Pooh series. They are marked in the collector's guide as um, special edition, and the Winnie the Pooh characters are all flocked, even Christopher Robin, which is really interesting. <laughs> but you are so cute. Definitely my fave. That's the one we pulled, and yeah, it comes with a collector's guide. There's so many. There's like Mickey, Tangled, Moana, Lilo and Stitch, Beauty and Beast, Zootopia, Peter Pan. Oh, there's so many. Frozen, Pinocchio, Alice in Wonderland, Monsters Inc. and Pixar, and the Winnie the Pooh. Yep. And the limited edition. Ew. And the mega rares. It's funny Lumiere's on there. It's random. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Individual blind boxes. These are the standard blind boxes from Dorables. Um, it's, you know, similar packaging. Very nice, very cute. And these blind boxes have two characters inside. So, let's see who we got. <gasps> it's Tinkerbell. Aw, she and is a ultra rare. Oh, and she's glittery. Oh, I got Tinkerbell. Cutie Pan, of course, like her wings. Ooh, she's covered in glitter. So much glitter. And the other one... Is this... That's not Beast. Wait, who is this? Mm -hmm. It's like a Mare Lionheart from Zootopia. He can trick you and make you think he's Beast, but he's not. <laughs> okay, next up. It's funny you know what these are the second you open them. Like, there's no... <gasps> it's Jiminy Crack. Aw, adorable. Oh, is he rare too? He's also glittery. Oh, he's, I mean, I'm all the, um... Oh, he's ultra rare, yeah. Wow. You actually have all the ultra rare this like, real. Weird. Yeah. Yeah, because I pulled um, Cogsworth off camera. I will show you guys him as well. And I got another one I really wanted, actually. This is, um, she's really cute, but I forget her name. Um, the wardrobe, yeah. I got the wardrobe from Beauty and the Beast. She's really cute, I love, love her blue eyes. Number three. Duplicate! Yay. I got another wardrobe. Like the worst duplicate. Really, I like her. And Mike. Oh, I love his single eye. He's so cute. Mike from Monsters Inc. He's holding a little notepad. Very cute. Alright, folks, here's our finale. Ooh, this is, this looks like Marshmallow. Yep, this is Marshmallow from Frozen. He's adorable, his eyes are unique too. He's got like glitter in them, but he's got little dark eyes. Uh -huh. Very cute. And this looks like another Zootopia character. Um, oh, it's, um, it's the, the ice cream man, isn't it? Yeah. Jim, Jimbo, Jimbo, Jim, Jumbo, Jumbo, Jumbo. <laughs> Jumbo from Zootopia. All right, that is the final pull of our blind boxes. Um, a few more to show you guys real quick that I pulled off camera, and then we will move on to our final thoughts. Uh, so we discovered something. <laughs> there's um, there's something else in here. Um, one of our blind boxes has an extra, yeah, huh, I don't know, what does it mean? Let's see. <gasps> Ooh, it's the Queen of Hearts. It's the Queen of Hearts. Queen of Hearts. She's glittery from Alice in Wonderland. It's What's weird rarity? she's not in the limited edition. Yeah, that's bizarre. Yeah, she came in a separate package in a blind I think box. It's a mistake. <laughs> I mean, I'll take it. 
Um, That's interesting. Yeah, what's her rarity? She's, she's, she's just ultra rare. rare. Hmm. It's weird. Maybe they, they made yeah. a mistake. Maybe they stuffed her in there. Well, I will take her. Yay! I got the Queen of Hearts. <laughs> because you have an ultra rare from those blind boxes. Cogsworth. He, he wasn't mm -hmm. just like playing anything, was he? He was, yeah, he was just out. I don't know what was happening here, guys. <laughs> but maybe, actually, because the thing is, if the multi peak is the whole thing, like maybe you get more. Maybe the blind boxes, it's possible you'll get a bonus, like, third uh, one. So you should just weigh them, see where it's <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so maybe you can get a bonus third one in the blind boxes, I don't know. So, one thing I did forget to mention is um, every Dorables blind box, it's really interesting how they do this. It comes with a stand. Um, but what's funny is even though the figures come with, like, the boxes come with at least two figures, it only comes with one stand. <laughs> so you have to, like, pick which one you want to put in the stand, which is interesting. But uh, the stand is cute and makes it easier for them to stay in place. Alright, so here are our Dorables that we pulled all displayed. Um, there are a few more, as I mentioned, that I pulled off camera. Um, there is Moana, sorry, that's not Moana. That's Lilo, Disney, sale, Disney fail. Uh, Lilo, White Rabbit, Glittery Clogsworth, uh, who is very rare, and um, yeah. Oh, a Blue Fairy. Blue Fairy from Pinocchio as well, who I love. Um, there are other sets from this series. Um, you know, we're not going to unbox and review this because it would just, this would be a very long video, but um, they also have these really cute play sets, like, you know, for Alice, and there's one for Mickey Mouse as well, um, which, uh, by the way, some of the figures you must get the play sets. It's the only way to get them. So Mickey Mouse and Alice are exclusive to their play sets. So, I think Disney Dorables are incredibly cute. Um, I don't know if I was sold on them immediately, but as soon as I like bought a pack and started seeing them in person, um, I think they have a lot of the charm and magic that we expect out of Disney characters and Disney products. Um, and the stylization is just precious. I really love the chibi look. I like the glittery eyes. Um, some might argue that they're a little overpriced considering they're very, very small toys, but, you know, I mean, in the direction blind boxes are going nowadays, I don't think the prices are that bad, um, because pretty much every single one of these products, even the multi-packs, everything is, like, under $20, aside from maybe the, um, the big deluxe sets. There's, like, I think one set that has, like, three play sets in it, but, um... I would definitely recommend these if you are a fan of minifigures and collectibles and Disney. This series is super cute. It's definitely drawn with, like that chibi look, and um, I always I always find that super cute. And I think there's some form of like really detail that comes from like the resin eyes. Um, I'm not a huge fan of like glitter, just pretty much dunking. The figuring into glitter is not necessary. It never something. comes out cleanly for some reason. Yeah, I mean, Tinkerbell looks like she's covered in chicken pox. So, and it's kind of sad. Those are what they consider like ultra rare. It's like a figure that they kind of ruin by just dunking them in glitter. But you know, um, I think the figures are cute. They are overpriced. I don't think necessary something like this small should be this expensive. Um, and I get is it's detailed and definitely they're paying for the Disney property. You definitely get more money, more bang for your buck with some other blind bags in my opinion. But I do like the flock ones. I think the flock ones are super cute. Um, Disney knows how to get ya and, and Moose knows which ones will sell more. So those are the super rare ones. If you're a completist, then this is not something I recommend starting because there is a lot of figures, pretty much two dollars each. Um, yeah, they're a little pricey, but if you just want to get one or two, I think they're kind of cute. Alright, thank you for joining us for our unboxing of Disney Dorables. Make sure to let us know what you guys think of this new series from Moose in the comments. Um, let us know what you'd like to see reviewed next. Hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't, and we will see you next time. Bye! Bye.